Good day, Kathy Murphy. I am so excited to take a moment to speak with you during this nursing spotlight because you have been honored with the Charlotte Brody Award for 2022. Congratulations. Um, the Charlotte Brody Award recognizes a nurse with a longstanding legacy in leadership in environmental health. Uh, and we are so grateful for your footsteps to follow in. And to ask you a few questions, uh, what is it about being a nurse that makes you a better educator? What is it about being a nurse that makes you a better environmentalist or a better advocate? Well, to, to answer your first question, I think all nurses are educators and we need to use every opportunity that we have and every interaction with our patients to educate them, be it about the medications that they're taking, discharge planning, but we also need to consider and we can use those opportunities to talk to our patients about the impact of what they're doing. For example, medication disposal of prescriptions are changed. You know, we're very concerned about diversion, accidental ingestion, but we also have to think about where they're going to be disposing of it. So the rest of us aren't ingesting it as it comes out of our, our tap water. So again, we're educators and we just need to think about the environment and climate change and to do anticipatory guidance for our patients. And there's opportunities on a daily moment to moment basis that we can do that. Thank you. So for nurses or, or student nurses or just humans in general um, mm -hmm. who are maybe struggling to find their voice, with your experience in this area, what, what pearls of wisdom do you have? I would say find your people. Because if you find your people, you'll find the people who will support you and help you. You have to be able to find people that are like-minded because if not, you're just going to bang your head against the wall. But when you are at work, is there one other person that maybe has a similar interest or, you know, think about what they're saying about, I remember when I was first a nurse and I was really tired of the coffee, coffee cups everywhere, right? That's what we do as nurses, let alone they were styrofoam, I'm embarrassed to say. But we put hooks up in our in our um, our break room, and we all brought in mugs, and we all had different mugs, and it was like, oh, this is from vacation, and 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 those kinds of things. So you had a topic of conversation. We didn't have a mess, and we had some personality. Plus, let alone you didn't have a table of coffee mugs that you didn't know whose coffee was whose. So it's those kinds of things. It's those moments, those things that you might hear and then work together. We saved our, our boss a ton of money by putting silly hooks up in our conference room. So find your people and it might be one person and you could grow and it could be more people or find your people in your community. You know, doing things, making changes in your household. Who's going to do the buy-in to your household? Or maybe you don't tell anybody that you just bought organic, you know, strawberries or something. But you've got to be able to find like-minded people who will support you and encourage you and share information. Hmm, I love that. And, and this virtual summit is full of our people. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So my last question for you, uh, what is one ask that you have of attendees of Annie's virtual summit to help redesign a healthier planet for us all? So again, find your people. And this is a community of people. So, and th that's one of the best things that I like about Annie and the Nurses Climate Challenge and Healthcare Without Harm is there's an entire community of people that have the information that just want to share the information. You know, Annie's got a free online textbook. The Nurses Climate Challenge has free resources for us to use so that Here's your start. And that's really what it is, is take one step. What one step might it be? It could be in your workplace, it could be in your community, or it could be at home. But take that one step and then you'll take another one and another one. And then you'll have this community behind you that will help you. 
Mm, terrific. Well, thank you. Congratulations again. We are so delighted to honor you with the Charlotte Brody Award. And thank you for joining us at the summit. No, thank you. I'm really glad to be here.